Hey guys, before this video starts, I just wanted to let you know that this one's a bit different. This video is more focused on the conversation rather than the gameplay. This was the first night I met Blood and Riley, and this is how the birth of Poughkeepsie happened. I hope you enjoy the video, and I may do more funny conversation videos in the future if this one goes well. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So, Lee, tell me about yourself. Sleep? Well, I like long romantic walks to the fridge. Yes. Sleeve, you have a deep voice. It's very romantic. Uh, romanticism. <laughs> Fuck, I can't talk. That's right, one thing you, you should know about me. <laughs> Riley's retarded. Sleeve. You have a very deep voice. I like it. Your mic is shitty. I like that too. <laughs> Ouch. I just drank an unholy amount of Gatorade, guys. This might not end well. What constitutes an unholy amount? Two and a half liters in oh, okay. two and a half hours. <laughs> the devil told him to, that's why it's so unholy. <laughs> well, as long as someone said for you to do it, it's okay. <laughs> Giving into peer pressure yeah. is fun, kids. Do it more often. I want to go to the Matrix. All right, isn't working. Oh, didn't work. Now I just look like an idiot. Yeah, we have no Not boost. in front of Lee's. Gosh. <laughs> Need to impress him. How do we, how, how do I pronounce your name again? It's L-E-E, -E, Lee. Whenever I play this map, I'm like 90% on this side always. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, same here. Man, Lee, why are you not a radio announcer? You have the voice, you have the mic. Well, I don't know. Everyone keeps telling me, please just start a podcast for the sake of starting one. I'm like, what the hell am I going to talk about? I'm like, I don't talk care. Just want to hear your voice. Talk about... Talk about life. Talk about mustache fashion. My friend, I've got a po proposition. What do you think about fart chairs? <laughs> now listen to this. Listen to this. The fart chair. You see, you, you go to you go to your neighbor's or friend's house, they got a chair, they're sitting in the chair, they're farting in the chair, then you're like, ew, I don't want to sit in that chair. The next time you come over, you're forced to sit in that chair. So, so are you, you, what are you proposing? Why well, do we have you, two farts? Wait, 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 let me continue. Uh -huh. You you know that's the, that's the chair he always farts in, but then again, you don't know he farts in the chair that you have right now either. Okay. Now the fart chair eliminates all that. <laughs> So See, does he get what, the fart what chair? happens? No, yeah, what happens is that if he gets a fart chair, you can safely say to yourself, "Thank God I'm not sitting in the fart chair," <laughs> because so that's it's a where designated he, fart chair. That's right. Every fart he ever makes, he goes on and sits in that chair, and then you know, you know that your chair well, is safe. The thing and is, I think you have a multi-million-dollar idea here. Yeah, and it's it's stored into like solar fart energy. That's like. Well, there you go. House. Now you've got all the hipsters on board, right? Yep. So they're like, oh, so we can actually use it for energy? I'm down. Let's buy 10 of them. And then, like, you, you get those complaints, though. It's like your parents are like, we are not installing a fart chair. No, and then that's no, when your you parents tell them, are listen the wrong. Here. Listen here, parents. <laughs> listen here. I pay the bills. You're under my roof. And then they kindly remind you that you're not actually, they're not under your roof. You're under their but then, roof. Once you but get the fart chair. You still get though. one. You still get one, and you show them how good that fucking fart chair is. <laughs> All right, then they can't say shit. You know what are they gonna say? They're gonna say, "Oh, well, we thought it was a stupid idea, but now it's great." No, they're just gonna shut their mouth and be like, "Listen, that was a great idea. We are so glad you are our son." <laughs> Four of us collecting, we could make a podcast talking about bullshit. <laughs> We'd make up like a bogus city name and it'd be like in a bogus state. We're in downtown Perkipsy in Montana. <laughs> I've got you in my sights. <laughs> who doesn't love who doesn't love old Perkipsy? Yeah. Or the, the Rochelles, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. We got a fucking homeless problem in Perkipsy. They're, they're getting a little <laughs> tipsy in Perkipsy. Here in Perkipsy, downtown Perkipsy, the Prime Minister of uh, the Perkipsy Association for morbidly obese <laughs> is having a press meeting at the local McDonald's. Food is free for today. <laughs> 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 I 
and uh, now on the oh, Pocket City Wedding Report. Report. Local <laughs> other man marries Clank. <laughs> Rather infuriated. <laughs> she was my plank. <laughs> I swear to I God. I done saw her first. <laughs> Why you told me to install the damn thing? What do you think you meant? <laughs> well, we'd be like Poughkeepsie, North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have a beach report too, because there's no beaches in North Dakota. <laughs> but we made sure. it with uh, with Poughkeepsie. Yeah. Poughkeepsie federal tax dollars. <laughs> Here in our local Poughkeepsie beach, we've got uh, quite a few people. Let's let's go talk to them. Hello, man. Why are you here? I got lost. I was heading to the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> There's just, just a beach in the middle of the downtown. It's just like the street just stops. There's like a fucking little ocean in the middle of the road. It's like, if you haven't raised enough tax dollars quite yet to put the bridge, we will be adding it shortly. <laughs> and the beach is just literally a puddle. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> That's all you can afford. It's like, it's, it's, like, it's like 100 feet deep. <laughs> yeah. But it's like... Like the diameter is like, I don't know, not even a foot. Yes. <laughs> come, come to Poughkeepsie where we have the deepest, the deepest beach in the world, home of deep beaches and three-titted women. <laughs> I'm choking on my own spit now. We have the, the most technologically advanced, three Here. foot by three foot nuclear plant in the world. Here at Poughkeepsie, we believe in superpowers. <laughs> Everyone, when they're born, gets rubbed in fucking toxic waste. <laughs> what, what superpower you'll get, no one knows. I'll never admit it, but Poughkeepsie is a horrible city to live in. Listen, it's just starting out, you know, it was rough times after Everyone the economic disaster. After, after the earthquake just of 77. <laughs> <laughs> and the Fuck. blizzard of 89. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't really 89. until the heat wave of 93 that uh, all this toxic waste shit started happening. That, that, that was after the third nuclear meltdown <laughs> in the planet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We thought the duct tape would hold it, but we were wrong. <laughs> we were wrong. We were playing God. <laughs> I just picked your, like, three foot by three foot nuclear reactor covered in duct tape. <laughs> it's like literally waist high. And can we have the downtown traffic report, please, right? Yeah, down here, uh, there's, uh, it's like a there's truck spilled over. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you guys. They're all trying to find the exit, but unfortunately they keep finding their ways to Pertepsi Beach. <laughs> I don't know if we're like actually making a city or an amusement park. <laughs> this is the ultimate tourist destination city. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> who, who wouldn't want to take Kids, where do you want to go this path? summer? Perkipsy. Here in Perkipsy. You don't need to worry about those deleted emails. <laughs> <laughs> We don't judge. <laughs> the Poughkeepsie National Church does not judge. There is no discrimination of race, gender, or, or you know, sexual orientation. Unless you're an asshole, then we get to. <laughs> then you get to experience what it's like in the, in the free enactment of the 1876 witch massacre. <laughs> <laughs> you get to participate in a live reenactment. <laughs> created the greatest place on earth as we know it and it's rich with history if i ever meet someone from north dakota now and then look at them the same again <laughs> just ask them how precarious he is <laughs> <laughs> i actually do know one guy actually i'm gonna message him right fucking now damn i went from like zero eliminations to 29 all of a sudden it's just the Perkipsy way. <laughs> it's the Perkipsy way. We <laughs> start slow, but then we thrive. You don't see us coming until we're the last ones alive because we hit in the corner. Our, our national animal is the cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> Cockroaches are an endangered species and they are preserved in the Perkipsy environment. That's why we keep millions of them. Can you guys just imagine for a second if we were like... <laughs> This is like a legit podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have a thousand people listening to this. 
you mean we're just driving by in the car just to send the radio like oh god we would cause so many accidents are you checking the gps to get the fuck away from that town <laughs> people in north dakota would all move so have you ever wondered what Poughkeepsie mystery meat one day tastes like Find out today uh, with our special mail order <laughs> offer. <laughs> mail order. Oh, you want to take a little bit of Perkipsy home with you? No problem. <laughs> mail order. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Come to Perkipsy College. <laughs> Professor Shia LaBeouf will get a person <laughs> instructive course on cannibalism. Oh, <laughs> cannibalism. <laughs> with his song and dance number. Actual cannibal, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Please be on the lookout for our 1% bikers gang, the Perkepsi <laughs> Riders. They go down one single highway in circles over and over again. <laughs> because our highway is a circle. <laughs> it's just a big, <laughs> big roundabout. <laughs> they have taken over our go-kart area. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen. That thank was you. the greatest night of my life. There's a little bit of Perkepsi in us all. I wanted to take some time and showcase some more fan art. I am absolutely floored by how talented you all are and the time that you put into these amazing pieces. I really feel the love and the support and I feel that I could never thank you guys enough. You are all amazing and never let anyone else tell you differently. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.